Hello, welcome to SS Unitech Susil this side and this is continuation of PySpark performance training. Today we are going to see about the optimized command. So if you haven't watched last two videos of this video series, so I would strongly recommend to watch that video where we have seen about the small file problem and about the delta transaction log. And today we are going to see the resolution of the small file problem. So what is the optimized command? So the optimized command is used to the delta lake to improve the performance of your queries by the delta table by compacting small files into the larger one. This process reduces the number of files that Spark need to read, which can significantly speed up read of operation. So if we are having any fact table and your requirement is we just want to read out the data from that table and that fact table is having the demand operation very often on that table and it is having very small files then we want to read the data from that table on that scenario we should be going to use the optimize command because what it will be doing behind the scene it will be going to compact the smaller files into the larger files that you can also see in this example below earlier we are having total six small files with three rows and after your optimized command it will be going to have only these two file one and file two so instead of reading the data from all these six files now we are required to only read the data from these two files so while we are going to read the data from two files scan will be very less so the performance of your select queries will be high Next, the optimize command can gently improve the query performance, especially if data is written using the streaming jobs, where depending on the trigger interval, lots of small file can be created. So if you are dealing with the real time data with the streaming data, so small files will be going to create as I told you, if you are going to apply any DML operation on your fact table, so it will be going to create the smaller files. And if the new data has been arrived, so the small file will be created at that time as well. So in case of the streaming job, we should be going to use the optimize command. Next is the database recommend running the optimize on the daily, but it really depend on the frequency of the update. Databricks recommend to use the optimize command on the daily basis, but it is also depending the frequency of the updates that is happening on your table. Next, we are also having few of the drawbacks of using the optimize command. So for each and everything, we should be having some pros and cons. So that's why here also we are having some of the drawbacks. So first drawback, you can keep in the mind for use the optimize command it can take some time and also in data processing cost so earlier we were having the smaller files and while we are going to compacting all those smaller files into the larger file so it will be taking some time and also improve the processing cost next with the optimize command the scan time has been improved since fewer file are being read nevertheless the whole data set is being read so here if we are going to sort it and filter out some data then it may be we are required to scan only file one or the file two so scanning of the data will be less but in case of your optimized command now we are having only these two files so instead of scanning the small chunks we are required to scan all the chunks so these are the disadvantages of using your optimize command let me quickly go inside the browser and we'll try to see in practical so now let me try to execute this query for creating one of the data frame and after that we are going to save the data inside your output location of the optimize folder and the format that will be delta now let me quickly go here inside your output location and let me try to refresh because as of now we don't see that optimized folder so let me quickly go inside that so as of now we are having only these four different files so let me quickly go back to here and here let me also try to create one of the 
table based on this location that is the output of the optimize so let me try to run this cell for creating this optimized tbl table so it got executed and your table has been created successfully here i am going to create the small file problem so i am going to create the smaller files and we are going to here we are going to create like 6 to 21 and after that we are going to dump the data under that and here we are going to use the append mode so it will be going to append the data in your output location so let me try to execute and after that it will take little bit time because it will be creating so many smaller files if we can go here and we can refresh at the same time then we can see these many files has been increased and smaller files is creating we can see it is growing as it's not completed yet so it will be going to have a lot of smaller files that you can see so now it got executed successfully and if we can go here and we'll try to see then we will be going to see we are having a lot of smaller files here now let me scroll down and here let me try to select the data from your table so that table is pointing to that location that is the optimized location so it will be going to scan all the data so let me try to execute and we'll see how many rows we are having here so if you can scroll down and as of now we can see we are having only 20 rows and it is taking around 1.96 second so you can note down like it is taking around 1.96 second for scanning the data now here I am going to use the optimize command. So how we can use the optimize command? I am going to first read the data from this format. And here I am going to check the input files, how many input files we are having. And here total I am reading and printing how many input files we are having. Next we can see, we can simply use the optimize command and after that we can simply pass your table. So the table that we have created, we can simply pass for doing the optimize. And after that, I'm going to again read out how many input files we are having under this location. So it will be going to give the proper output, like how many files we are having before doing your optimize and after doing your optimize. So let me try to execute this cell and it will be going to reflect so as of now we can see we were having total 19 files so before optimize we were having 19 files but after optimize we are having only one file so for scanning the 19 files obviously it will be taking a lot of time but for scanning a single file and getting the data from there it's very faster so let me scroll down and try to check how much time now it is taking earlier if we are remember it was taking around 1.96 second and if we can compare here it is taking only 0.63 second so this difference we are having only for the 20 rows you can assume if you are going to deal with the fact table and with the streaming job then this difference will be very high only for the 20 records it is taking approximate half time and less than half time but for the larger data processing it will be very helpful so this is one of the performance tuning technique you can use depending on your data so i hope guys you have understood when we can use the optimize command thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video